Hey guys, this is Rise and I'm back and I'm here with Moltrap to bring you a very interesting group. A group that is close to my heart. Why is it close to my heart, do you ask? Well, it's it's pretty simple actually. It's because it's got Firebat Hero in it, that's right. And uh, we'll be Hero! watching his entire group. Me and Moltrap will do the entire series, uh, however many games that may be. There is Firebat Hero himself in the flesh looking badass without glasses. Wow, that's this is probably one of the first few games I've seen without him without glasses. And there is Raiden, by the way. He's facing off against the Lightning God himself. <laughs> Jehoon. <laughs> what the hell is with that kid's hair? Anyway, they're playing on Eye of the Storm, and it should be a pretty good game, although we happen to know a couple of things about these players, namely Firebat Hero's <laughs> weakness. Moltrap, can you tell us a little bit more about these two? Well, um, Firebat Hero, yeah, he does have a little bit of a weakness, um, and his weakness is uh, that he kind of sort of slightly maybe a tiny bit sucks balls against Protoss. Um, and it, it's always been kind of his stumbling block. Uh, you know, he, he... We all thought he might have a Protoss game, you know, last season when he... Or a couple seasons ago, I guess, when he got into MSL and got pretty far and beat Bisu and beat Free and all that, I think. But then he failed again. And um, it's really disappointing. But he's good against everything else. And um, anyway, but luckily for him... Jehoon sucks against everyone, not just Terran. So um, he may have a chance here. Jehoon's done decently well in the prelims lately. He almost got out of both prelims. He was barely defeated by Daezang in the finals of the MSL prelims. Um, but he really hasn't shown himself to be able to play against you know higher caliber players like um, even Firebat Heroes um, TVP. You know he's only beaten crappy Terrans in the prelims and uh, lost recently to players like Lomo and Flash and um, uh, other other races also in, in Pro League. So so it's going to be a, kind of an even matchup. I'm still going to give a little bit of an um, advantage to Firebolt Hero just because he does have a little bit more experience in general. I mean, jae has been around for a while, but um, Firebolt Hero is more experience on the stage and that kind of thing. So I don't know, but we'll have to see what happens here. And it looks like um, jae going to go for a tech build so far just right off the bat. And uh, probably going to see Firebat here going for one as well. Pretty standard um, thus far. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm kind of curious what Firebat Hero is going to go just because he's playing against a Protoss uh, foe. And, and right now, it looks like he's trying to wall off, but no, it doesn't actually do it. So the probe gets in, gets to see what's going on. And, uh, you know, I got I, I think one of the big things that everybody is wondering about Firebat Hero is can he ever become better against Protoss? Because uh, I don't know about you, but I love seeing Firebat Hero dance when he wins. And, and so a lot of us are, I'm sure, oh, yeah. wondering... Uh, uh, what are we going to see today? Are we going to see dessert or dessert? You guys have heard that song, I'm sure. But anyway, it looks like Firebat Hero is going to uh, make a couple of Marines to play a little safe here, which I think is a good idea, especially since we're seeing a, a two-gate build coming from Jehoon. And uh, that's going to put some early pressure on him. But at the same time, Firebat Hero is sitting kind of pretty because he is in cross positions on this map, which is going to take it a lot, take the units of Jehoon quite a bit of time to get all the way over to Firebat Hero's base. And Firebat Hero now is uh, officially blocking off his entrance and finally doing something smart after the amount of losses I've seen him put up against Protoss. Uh, Jehun, on the other hand, obviously with this uh, two-gate build, which is being scouted, by the way, by Firebat Hero, he's uh, he's going to try to put some early, early pressure on with goons with range. But again, ah, that silver hair is so stupid. I can't get over that. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I I'm just curious if he's going to be able to do enough damage here with the cross positions. I mean, it really is a quite a far trek. Uh, this this is one of the new maps uh, in the league, by the way. So if, if anyone hasn't really seen too much of it, Eye of the Storm, kind of interesting. Uh, kind of reminds me of a couple of different maps put together from last season. Uh, Neo Harmony, of course, just because the the four cornering positions and those those walls around it, uh, as as well as some other maps that I I can't really think of right now off the top of my head. But uh, it should be a pretty pretty good match here. I'm wondering if if Jehun is going to go for uh, some hidden tech or not. But nope, no. Nope, He's actually going to go for uh, standard play, get his natural going up. Uh, Firebat here, I would expect that he's going to be going for an expansion as well. Looks like he is building it. So we are going to see a uh, standard, standard play from both these players right now. Yeah, pretty standard here. And, and like you said, the cross positions means that, uh, you know, this Dragoon is going to come out normally. I mean, he built a couple of Zealots, so his goons were a little bit delayed. 
Um, but normally he would want to, you know, have those goons get there as quickly as possible and put pressure. But Fireman Hero already has the tank out, so it's really he's not really going to be able to do too much with these dragoons here. That also means though that Firebat Hero, who has found that probe, ha ha, sneaky probe! You thought you could sneak back there, but no, no. Uh, he knows exactly where you are. He's got your number, that SCV. And um, anyway, but it also means that Firebat Hero's FD push, if he wants to make one. Um, you know, sending out with his first few couple tanks and marines and some vultures to follow is also not going to be very effective because it's going to take so long for that push to get to uh, Jehun's base. So it looks like we're going to see a longer game just by virtue of the fact that there's not going to be any way that either player can put any pressure on too early and have it be terribly effective. Firebot Hero is going to, looks like he's going to fake like he's going to attack, kills that probe off and moves a little bit forward, but now he's just going to fall back and set up D for his new expansion. So... Um, yeah, very interesting so far. And uh, I, I wanted to say that I am uh, really, I was been looking forward to this group, not just because of Firebat Hero, which of course we all want him to um, to shake his booty for us uh, when he wins some games here. But in addition, the winner of this series uh, between Firebat Hero and Jehun, both advancing out of the prelims, um, will go on to face one of the seeds from the round of 16 of the last OSL, Zero. Um, and he is also another one of my favorite players. And uh, if if Firebright Hero and Zero face off, I don't have no idea what's going to happen because both of those two players are like two of the most creative players in the game. And there might just be too much creativity at once, and uh, the game of StarCraft might explode. Which uh, I don't know. It 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 would be bad, I guess, but uh, it'll be spectacular. So I'm looking forward to it. Would it explode in an orgasmic fashion? Ah uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, I think that Zero, uh, he is pretty creative, but I, I can't help but feel like he's living up to his name, you know, he's just, he's not getting oh. as far as I, I think everybody thought he was going to get, but he is becoming, he's developing out to be a, a much more solid player than he was uh, when he first started, which is pretty cool. Uh, looks like they're pointing out that Firebat Hero has not gotten his second gas, but he is dropping four facts. So that means that he's probably going to go for a very vulture-heavy build. Um, at least that's what it would appear. And probably continue to pumping tanks out of that uh, one factory with the machine shop. And there's actually a fifth factory going down. So this definitely uh, seems Ooh. to be like he's going for a very vulture-heavy build. He may have even cut pro... Uh, well... SEVs at this point, and if he's doing that, this this may be slightly all in for the for the moment. Maybe maybe a little bit of a timing attack actually, trying to catch Jehun off guard while he's uh, working on his tech. At the same time, Firebat Heroes actually put up a very good perimeter of turrets, and and that's going to help protect uh, against any scouting as well as shuttle harassment that could come. And, and it looks like Firebat Hero is pushing out at this point, and he is actually probably going to rally all of those ta uh, those um, those factories that have just gone down that are most likely producing vultures right out to the base of Jehun and this could be very bad for Jehun as he is in the middle of getting up both his tech and his fourth fifth and sixth gateways this could be very bad and Firebat Hero may have a, a just critical timing attack going on right here yeah this is exactly what he's going for a huge timing attack with five factories pumping mostly vultures is what it's going to look like uh, unfortunately he did leave a gap and here comes Firebat Hero pushing in he's got the vultures Moving in, he's trying to take some pot shots of those Dragoons with the Vultures and just keep them in the way so the tanks can... And Jehun has no choice but to fall back here with, with Siege Tanks in the route. And here comes some mines being laid down right next to the army. Oh, he manages to take them out though without any major damage, except then he just walks a single Dragoon into those mines. But now a Firebite Hero, he's lost several of his Vultures, so he's being forced to set up um, set up shop right outside of Jehun's base. Turrets are not up yet, though. Whoa! Are the Marines going to be able to hold off the shuttle? He drops some zealots on a single tank. It goes down, but I don't think he's going to be able to get in close enough to take out the rest of those tanks. So Firebite Hero is at least going to be able to set up a contain here. And just a very, very smart move here. Unfortunately, um, Jehun, um, he, he did leave a gap in his turret line. So Jehun saw it a little bit earlier and was able to send those Dragoons out to react and try and um, slow him down. Otherwise, Jehun would be thoroughly, thoroughly contained right now. Um, and there'd be more vultures, but but this is looking really bad for him. He is definitely contained. He's not going to be able to get out here, and uh, the shuttles are not going to be terribly effective with sh with uh, those turrets and marines around. Oh, he does manage to drop one and bomb that turret, um, but uh, he just does not have the forces right now. He doesn't have speed zealots, and and any zealots he does bring in are going to be really difficult to 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 be very effective since he. <laughs> 
blows up another turret. <laughs> but there's a lot of vultures there, so zealots are not going to do too much good. And he only needs a few siege tanks to deal with um, that many dragoons, as long as he has a good buffer of uh, mines and, and vultures. Yeah, but I, I gotta say that I feel like the window of attack is pretty much closed already. I mean, Jehu now has both that tech tree up, as well as those gateways that he was trying to get up, and, and Firebat Hero, I think, needed to push deeper into Jehun in order to really capitalize on that, uh, that th this gamble that he's taken eff effectively. And, and I'd like to actually see back to Firebat Hero's base to see if he's continuing to work up on his tech, or if he's really sticking at this position and, and just trying to end it here. Uh, although we can see that there, I mean... There's not that many units of Jehun, but I think it's it's plenty to deal with what Firebat Hero is out on the field right now. And uh, really, I think that he's got to be doing more. He's got to go out with those vultures, try to do some harassment. He's got so many of them. He keeps losing these turrets over and over and over again. Finally, the shuttle goes down, though. That was huge. Arbiters are out, though. Oh, man, and that's what I was talking Ooh. about. Jehun had just enough time to manage to get that tech tree up. I didn't even realize he was going for uh, Arbiters in particular. I guess I should have saw that one coming with the... Uh... Oh! Oh, 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 that was almost an epic mind drag. Oh. Firebat Hero just got so lucky. He almost lost that entire group of vultures. That most most definitely would have been almost game over. And now, those oh. mines are coming back to haunt Firebat Hero. They are way too close to his front line. They are all in a, a big bunch group. They're not doing any damage. And Jay Hoon, like I said, like I was saying, he's he's gonna he, he's already passed that window of opportunity and, and he's gonna be able to get back uh, and, and start working on taking out this, this little force that Firebat Hero is working up in the front. Especially if he gets off a nice stasis or something. And and I, again I wanna see Firebat Hero's base though, to see what he's going as he continues just to mind drag over and over. Which in my opinion is a good idea at this point, as Firebat Hero just is laying down mines in horrible spots. Yeah, and he, he has those commsats, but he was not able to get that forward turret going. I mean, Jehun bombed it four times, I think, and took out that, that turret in the front. And now he's actually going with several zealots. Oh, several vultures blowing up. Um, he If he gets those turrets up, though, he's going to be in a lot better shape. He's going to be able to kill off these, these zealots as they come in. Um, and he, he does get some turrets up. And now Jehun moving out with a bunch of units. He's kept bringing his dragoons as well this time. The zealots coming in. I don't think he has quite enough zealots, though. The vultures do take out most of the zealots. There's only a few siege tanks behind all those vultures, though. Um, and it looks like he is going to get pushed back just, just barely, though. Just not enough zealots. If he's, if he's had a couple more zealots in there, then he'd be... Uh, he probably would have broken that, but actually Firebat here with more tanks than I expected coming in. He's now got um, about eight siege tanks, and he's actually starting to lack vultures at this point. Um, only a few vultures to protect those tanks there, and he's lost his SCVs. So Firebat Hero is pretty much going all in on this. He, it would be really nice for him if he had vessels around right now. He's just depending on two comsat stations and turrets for detection right now. But he has not given up this containment. He, he still might be able to pull it out, even though I think you're right. I think with this tech advantage, especially if Stasis starts coming in, um, then Jehud's going to be able to break out of this eventually. And he's getting a, 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 a ninja base up at the 3 o'clock base as well. And here he comes in with more mind drags! Oh, with no detection at all. And not not com setting very well. Um, he just keeps getting overrun by his own mines here. Yeah, I don't know what it is. You'd think he would learn the first few times he did it, but he continues to get mind dragged in. Vultures in front of the tanks, man. Come on. The one thing that he had going for him was he had plenty of building fodder to actually absorb a lot of the hits from the dragoons. And now we're seeing stasis. Two critical tanks right below the ledge getting uh, stasis up, and they're not going to be able to take out do too much damage but actually look at that those goons are melting to these forces this is amazing firebat hero uh again I, th I think a lot of it has to do with the building placement the fact is that jehun isn't microing very well i mean really he had the amount of forces i thought necessary yeah. to take care of that but there was a very nice tank spread you can see it's still at this point he's doing a very good job with that and now finally going in with those vultures this is exactly what firebat hero there is. we go start taking out the economy he's got to take out those probes that are mining at that nexus he's got you got the mines going up in front of it that's going to slow down any dragoon advancement that's going to be a very big help the, all the probes are going to go down at this point oh firebat here is doing a great job and more coming in firebat here is going to get some more out of it 
I don't think he's going to though. No, that that probe's gonna go. To, uh, that vulture's gonna go down to a bunch of probes and some dragoons under the cloak of an arbiter. So uh, Firebat here doing a very good job at this point, pushing in. But still, uh, I feel like he needs to start moving those tanks up a little bit more. Keep those mines further out on the field. This is not the place you need them to be. You don't want to. You don't want to destroy your own tank line with mines. But um, he is holding strong, and I'd like to see him take an expansion as he's still only on two bases. And uh, Jehun wisely trying to get up a third and fourth wow yeah he's trying to get up those extra bases on the side and then and fire right hero now definitely has only a small window of opportunity i guess um to, to really move in here and kill this kill off jehun before he gets an economy going although it would be pretty easy there's no way for jehun to reinforce those locations and so fire right hero can send a single tank for instance to um kill that off and jehun has had a shuttle on the far left side of the map for like 10 minutes and he hasn't done anything with it by the way i think he might have a uh, templar in there or something like that but i'm pretty sure he forgot about that shuttle uh and he's got an arbiter heading that direction now instead so this could be bad for fire right here jehun this is a good move of desperation when the protoss is in this position if you can recall the terran and distract them at their main base oftentimes when they're putting so much pressure forward they, they're not protecting their main at all and that might be what happens here oh Oh, no, no stasis yet, or I mean, no recall yet, but um, if he recalls, that could be bad. And Firebite Hero, though, has pulled several of his tanks, and he's moving them within just inches of that Nexus, and if he can hold this position against this attack, he will be able to start killing that Nexus, but no, some more mind drags. Oh, Zealots in amongst the tanks, not enough vultures, too many Zealots, and Firebite Hero oh, has destroyed his own contain once again. Congratulations on your massive fail. <laughs> what the hell, Firebat Hero? Why? Why? Every time you do this, you let us down. Uh, but by no means is it over at this point. Uh, although, this is very critical for Jehun to break out of this. Uh, Firebat Hero still has got the the element of, of distance on his side. As well as, you know, the fact is, Terran tend to be very, very hardy <laughs> units. I mean, they can really take a beating. His base can take a beating. But everything in the end can be repaired. Um, in the meantime, though, Firebat Hero has actually stopped two expansions from going up. And, and if anything, Firebat Hero is still in uh, a seat of control. Because, basically, we got two base on two base at this point. Uh, on top of that, Jehun has lost a ton of probes. As well as a nexus or two that was building. And Firebat Hero knows this. And he continues to patrol back and forth. And look at this. We're going to see a recall over here, I think, in the 12 o'clock position. Uh, Firebat Hero has nothing in that area to defend. He is going to see that shuttle, though. Oh, no. He's actually going to the main base. But there are mines in the main base. Firebat Hero is completely prepared for this. Is he going to recall right on mines? I don't know. It looks like it's going to be close. Oh, is he going to recall right on the troops? He does. But mines go off, and a lot of units go down right away. He's got tanks in position. He's got more mines going down. He's got vultures surrounding him. Three Arbiters in the base, though. Is it going to be enough? Firebat Bad Hero has no units here at this point. At the same time, it looks like that shuttle is finally doing something, dropping some zealots at the 12 o'clock position. The zealots are going to be taken down by the Goliaths, though, and Firebat Hero now is getting recalled on more and more, and I think this could be serious, serious trouble for Firebat Hero. He just does not have the troop count. Whatever's coming out of those factories is what's going to defend him at this point. Can he survive? I, I, I don't know. Yeah, and Jehun trying to take out the commsat station specifically with zealots. Um, and he's got a couple more Arbiters in there. Just a few Dragoons left, though. Um, but, it's, yeah, Firebite Hero still has two Comsat stations, so he's going to be able to spot these troops. He's building his third back up again. But he just doesn't have an army. And normally he's going to have an army at his at his choke point that he's rallied that he can um, pull back to, to defend his main. But at this point, his army has just been thrown away at Jehun's, uh, at Jehun's base, so he hasn't really been able to do that. And finally, he brings back four siege tanks, though. Three of them getting oh. stasis Oh man, that was his salvation, and his salvation just got stasis. Oh man, and now he's going to start losing factories here. His next round of reinforcements is going to be critical. If he does not kill this stuff off with his round of reinforcements, then he's he's going to start losing factories. His first factory goes down, and yeah, this is not looking good at all for Firebat Hero. He doesn't even have SCVs to fight with right now. Man. It looks like disaster is exactly the course that we're going to see coming from Firebat Hero at this point. Um, on the plus side, even while he was getting attacked, if he could have defended that, he could have actually still had a pretty good position in this game just because Jehun was mined out at his main and getting there on his natural without a uh, another Nexus to support him. 
And it looks like Firebat Hero is going to try to do just that, though, and uh, basically lock in those troops. He does have two bases running, but he just doesn't have any buildings that can produce units that can actually defend him, uh, other than command centers making SCVs at this point. Uh, those factories are continuing to go down. Uh, he is definitely doing a pretty good job of... Um, just cornering those troops in his base, but there's still two Arbiters there. Whether they use Stasis or another recall, oh, and now he loses his 12 o'clock base, and again, he just doesn't have the units to fight this. And uh, with that, this is probably going to be GG in a couple of seconds. Even, oh, oh man, another monster no. Stasis taking on four units that Firebat Hero cannot spare. Uh, so I have a feeling that this is going to be GG coming from Firebat Hero. Oh my gosh, and he's having to rebuild his barracks so he can rebuild his factories. Uh, looks like he finally, finally is going to clean that up, but not until he lost his commsat station to his third base, and now he's not even going to worry about recalls. He's just going to run in the front door this time, because Firebat Hero <laughs> units are all stasis in the back. Um, he does have a few tanks there. He might be able to deal with this theoretically, but those zealots are... Oh, oh. mine gets dragged into all of his SCVs from his natural expansion. Oh my god, and Jehun is so bad. You could, I mean, leaving shuttles <laughs> lying around, leaving arbiters lying around, and somehow uh, Fire Hero is still managing to lose horribly to him, and that was really, really weird. How did those Dragoons get stacked on top of each other? That was amazing. Um, must have been an SCV hack. But um, anyway, yeah, I mean, look at him. He's distance mining because he can't figure out how to get rid of the mines at that extra base. Um, so, just, just really, really bad play from Jehoon here, but somehow managing just with recalls and, and some, some admittedly clever play killing off the commsat stations is just overrunning him. Um, and here he comes in with a few more forces. It looks like, oh, if he can kill off that last zealot before it kills his tanks, then he might have a chance, but no. Oh, man, Archon sucking up too many hits there. And now it's Jehoon's turn to just rally troops to fire up at Hero's base. Firebat Hero, who's still just running off three factories, his attempt to make a barracks failed. Uh, oh, no, I'm sorry, the barracks did finish, but he just uh, probably doesn't even have the resources to make more factories anyway. So uh, it looks like his time is limited here, um, unless he can pull off something crazy. Man, Raiden can only win with that cheesy ass teleport move, and there he does, uses it again against Firebat <laughs> Hero. And Firebat Hero gets uppercutted into the pit of despair, and he lands on a bunch of spikes, and that's gonna be it for him, man. Damn it! Damn it, Firebat Hero! Damn it, I'm gonna break my keyboard. <laughs> I just did a uh, I did an interview with uh, Sebastian from Polygon Review, right? And he asked me, yeah. you know, is 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 Firebat here your favorite player, right? We all know. And I'm like, um, I, I don't know, man. I, I think that uh, he's he's one of my favorite players, but the fact is, he just can't beat Protoss no matter what he does, and it's too much to overcome for me to, to root for a guy who loses one third of all of his matches. What the hell? He lost to Jehoon, man, of all people. What does that even mean? Oh, it's well, disgusting. Yeah, it, this is, I gotta say, this is at least a little close, because Jehoon is not mining right now. He's got five probes distance mining, um, so he's he's really not in good shape. Um, it's unfortunate that Firebat Hero happens to be in worse shape. Um, he's distance mining with three SCVs instead of five probes. <laughs> um, but he has managed to clean that up, and look at it, see, Jehoon has like ten gateways, and he's able to produce a single Dragoon out of them. Okay, now he's finally got his other probes mining. If maybe, um, uh, this is just desperation talking, but maybe Firebright Hero can run in with his vultures and kill all those distance mining probes and then come back somehow, even though he's lost <laughs> two command centers recently. And uh, uh, who am I kidding? Well, now he's going to kill off some of these probes at least. Yeah, he, in, he gets them in the middle of their transferring. Um, and oh man. But Jehoon sending his last two zealots off to finish, but Firebat Hero picking off more and more probes, laying down mines, there is an observer there, but he's managed to kill off like a dozen probes um, just by running around with his last four vultures, and he's landed his main command center at his natural. If Firebat Hero can distract him long enough and kill enough probes with these three vultures, um, who knows, maybe... Oh, no, he's just got too many probes. Those vultures are about to die as well. But that was not bad. Killing over a dozen probes, it looked like. Um, and Jehoon still has not figured out how to kill uh, kill off the mines uh, in, in that what expansion. What the hell is that? And to get, a, to get a third base going. 
Um, wow, this is just getting, this is just getting silly. Well, uh, I, I now know why this game is as long as it is. Oh, Firebat here, you're gonna lose a Vulture to probes. What is wrong with you? But wow. he, he is continuing to take out a lot of probes. But the thing is, Jehun had like 50 probes distance mining, and now we're seeing goons go up and and you know really yeah, but he's lost all of his probes goons win but if he if he gets some spider mines down to take out those goons fireman here can still win this no way he's yes. got some he's got some down but there's oh but there oh no there is an observer there and those oh, four goons no. i don't it's four goons versus like six vultures and some SMEs. Uh -oh. and, and, and who's SMEs gonna win to lock him in. If, a, if you can get a mine off Oh, mines in the dragoons! Ah! I'm holding my, oh my breath, god. like literally. Seriously, oh my god! If you kill off those last few dragoons, he's got two two SCVs and five vultures. No way! No, no one, way! One more dragoon! Oh my god! No way! <laughs> <laughs> he might just do it. He's out of mines, but the dragoon is almost dead. The dragoon uh, goes he down. He took them all out. He took them all out. <laughs> no way! <laughs> what? <laughs> No way! There's oh three! God. They're Oh, the Archon! But Archons go down to Vultures like crazy because they're all shield yeah. and there's only 10 hit points. It's, this, you can't that use is mines not necessarily against them, a good... No, but it's not necessarily a but good unit a, to make. His I last mean, he can four micro probes. Around them. Okay, he's got oh, he's six got probes like left. He's pulling oh. out both of his gas mines. Are we gonna see this is going to be a micro, micro battle. Take out the probes! Oh, he's got he's got three vultures though at this point. And again, that shield man that will go down. And and it's 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 a it, an archon is basically a melee unit with a little bit of range, you know. And and yeah. I, oh, and he's coming with Jehun! He's coming with Jehun! Oh my God! 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 Oh he just won the 2000th OSL game. An epic no benchmark way! in the OSL, and Fireman Hero <laughs> pulls out an epic victory and gets a fruit basket. No, no, I'm sorry, that's flowers. Gets a boot camp flowers from the booth girl <laughs> to boot. Oh, oh my god, god. I, I cannot believe that he pulled that off. That is ridiculous. Just sending in think... Jehun with the horrible mining of. 30 probes distance mining, can't make a nexus, too noob to make a nexus, and Firebot Hero runs in <laughs> with four vultures and kills every single one of them. Oh my god, that was epic. I'm having chest pains. Uh, hold on. <laughs> I, I, I realize why Firebat Hero didn't dance, by the way, is because he shit his pants before when he realized he was going to lose to Jehun. <laughs> and so he had such a load that he couldn't dance around. So all he could muster up was a, a little bit of a bow and accept some flowers. But man, what a game! That was ridiculous! Insane! Holy wow. crap! That, that's... I cannot believe that that happened. That was... That's that one was of the best so games sloppy. I've ever commentated. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was just epic. He's restored I cannot my believe faith. That he, he, yes! I, I must admit, I lost faith in him there for a minute when, like, Jehun was mining and Firebat Hero had three SCVs. But somehow, just through sheer grit and Vulture Micro, um, and Jehun being horrible, man, Firebat Hero pulled it off. <laughs> I cannot believe it. But I'm, I'm happy he did. That's exciting. Do not underestimate <laughs> the retardedness of Jehun. <laughs> he will <laughs> lose the game. <laughs> oh, all right, wow. all right, all right, all right. But this is the best uh, of three, so he still has to win one more to actually take the series. Oh my god. I'm gonna, hold on, I, I... Let's go to the next game, there's nothing else to talk about. <laughs> GG! <Okay. laughs>